Okay, so we're running and I've got audio perfect. Okay, so this is the procedural building project that I've been playing with for the last little bit. I wanted to wait a little bit longer before um, really showcasing anything else or releasing anything, but I am now busy with yet another project and I'm going to be releasing this as an as in as is state. So um, let's take a look at what we've got going on here. Woo! Let's not double click things because then it does funny stuff. But anywho, look at that. We've got a green block. Well, we can come over here and with the um, left and right arrow brackets, you know, right above your alt key, and cycle through different tools, which you can't see right now because I am maximized. So we'll do this. You'll see now in my upper corner, you see a printout of different tools. Um, does delete actually work? Yes, delete does work. Okay. Good to know. Wasn't sure if I completed that part of it yet. But anywho, so we can cycle through different tools. We've got scale, so we can click and then drag for scale. Look at that. Scale's a little bit funny because it's based on where your mouse is along an invisible line from its last position. So it's best to do it in small things from a corner to or away the inside of, towards or away from the inside of the cube. Painting. This is what I just finished up today so that I can release this. You click on a side, you get a paint thingy and you can go, woo, let's change the paint. And that's right, we can pick a side and then pick another side. Ooh and then pick yet another side and so on and so forth. Each section of a procedural mesh is colorable individually the way I have this set up. So mention how I say that each section of a procedural mesh. So if you are generating your own meshes it is per section this is set up so that means if you just convert a regular static mesh to a procedural mesh, you will not have the painting ability, or you will have the painting ability, but it will affect the entire mesh, not just a single face as we're showing off here. The other two rules we have is delete. We already did delete. We've got spawn. I never did set up spawning. I'll leave that to you. Grab will let us grab and manipulate the object in space. And then translate is going to let us translate things either by grabbing an edge, as I just did there, grabbing a corner, or grabbing a face. So this is the tool I'm releasing for you all to play with. The beauty of it is the actual tool itself is this pawn and these two widgets. Actually, did I even do anything for the HUD? No, nope, literally I have, that's not implemented at all. So yeah, it's just those and the building pawn. Uh, I have a procedural block here. I also have this set of blocks here. So if I pull this one out, and pop it right there, we have a table of different blocks. So let's set it into an inner corner. So that's 0, 1, 2, 3. So I want block index 3. I just set in our block index for that. And then now when I spawn in, I've got a corner thingy. And if I click it, wait, where is my why are you not oh i think it is not currently creating a for whatever reason this thing did give me troubles where it doesn't actually build a um it doesn't build the collision most of the time i've been able to fix that by um, that is my procedural mesh component. That should be fine then. Collision presets block all. 
Okay, when I'm building things, where is my... Oh, this is... Right, I... On this block, I built a lot of this stuff onto the block itself. But this here that makes the pr procedural block, yes, we should be able to just do that and make sure it is doing collisions. And let's see if that fixes it for us. It does not. Anywho, you'll have the UV setups for spawning different types of blocks. This old setup, it um, has its own editing tools as part of the block. I decided to move this all away from the block so we can just pull that out and do that. And now it is just the building of the block. Oh, what if we don't clear all mesh sections and we don't recall build? So if we just go straight to that. What is it telling me? Oh, it wants construction script to build. Okay, well, we'll tell it no, I'm not building on construct anymore. And now, nope, still have no collisions. Anyway, um, yes, there is this array looper that gets coordinates from that data set. And if anybody wants to fix that to make sure it has a collision to it, they can. But otherwise, as long as you've got a procedural mesh with a collision, this will do a per vertex edge or face movement then we've also got scaling of the entire thing we've got painting of individual faces we've got deleting we do not have spawning we have grabbing where we can move it around yeah so that's that releasing that as is um actually i already pre-zipped this so your copy will have all the extra crap i just deleted there but anywho that is that hope you all have fun um, if you, if anyone has questions about it, you can ask me on our Discord or in the comments. And I will try to answer the questions in a timely fashion, but again, the reason why I'm stepping away from this project for now is because I've got another more pressing project that has come up. So thanks for your time, thank you all for watching, and I uh, hope you enjoy this procedural mesh editing tool. Bye for now.